Hello and welcome back to the programme. Afghanistan's former president, Ashraf Ghani, has broken his silence to justify why he fled the country when the Taliban took over Kabul. He apologised to the Afghan people for, as he put it, the way things ended. Uh, let's talk now to Sawa Ahmed Zai, a close aide to the former Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani. He was deputy national security adviser. Welcome here to the programme. Uh, do you think that... Ashraf Ghani understands uh, just uh, the huge amount of anger there is in his country that uh, he saved himself but abandoned his country. Well, uh, Meteo, as the president uh, explained it two times uh, since he left the palace, uh, that he wanted uh, to avoid a bloodshed in the city of Kabul. Because city of Kabul is uh, uh, having about six to eight million people and uh, street uh, to street fighting would have resulted in thousands of innocent civilians dead and probably destructions to private and public private uh, properties and that's why he preferred not to fight and uh, uh, peacefully surrender uh, the city to taliban isn't it exactly the other way around his explanation is that he left to avoid that mass bloodshed isn't the truth that he could have stayed he could have ended up talking to the Taliban just like other leaders. Instead, he put his own safety first and, and simply fled. Well, I don't think so, because, you know, uh, the negotiations were going on and also the Taliban promised uh, two days before that, three days before uh, 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 before the President Ghani fled the country, that they would not enter the uh, Kabul city and they would uh, start a, a peaceful settlement uh, negotiation. But uh, unfortunately, uh, on Saturday, Taliban, which was the 14th of August, Taliban entered the outskirts of Kabul. And on the 15th of August, Taliban had already been in the heart of Kabul. So uh, it, there was a, a kind of uh, a plan and uh, uh, a plot, uh, probably to capture the president and uh, kill the president. Uh, so the president got the news, the intelligence reports that this was going on, and he had no choice but to avoid the bloodshed in the city of Kabul. And did he flee with millions uh, of Afghans' money? Absolutely not. I think everybody knows, all the intelligence agencies knows, uh, we have a surveillance, uh, huge aerial cameras on the city of Kabul. They can check it out. The president did not take any money with him. He just left the clothes on his back. And even probably the immigration uh, authorities of the countries that he went to they will also know what he had uh, with him. And do you think Ashraf Ghani can prove that? Absolutely. He is ready and he also uh, said that he is ready for the United Nations inquiry to inquire about the millions of dollars that he had taken with him or not. So he is ready for the investigation any time the UN is ready for that. He seems to downplay every key plank of the criticism that's been directed at him, both from inside Afghanistan and outside, because there's been a lot of criticism that uh, the corruption under his regime simply meant that uh, when uh, the country fell, it fell very, very quickly. There wasn't the sort of military uh, pushback that was expected. Uh, and that corruption really heads to his door. He simply doesn't seem to take that responsibility. He seems to talk about all governments that have been plagued by this problem. Well, Matthew, Afghanistan is one of the uh, third world countries and one of the poorest countries. Uh, he had uh, inherited uh, uh, corruption, uh, a culture in Afghanistan. He had inherited insecurity in Afghanistan. He had inherited the uh, monster political differences among the political leaders in Afghanistan. So I don't think so. Corruption was the only reason for the uh, falling of the country. It, it may not be the only reason. What I'm asking you is, uh, why not in this statement, we waited a long time for it, accept his personal responsibility for his part, his period in power, when corruption still was running rife? Well, like I said, you know, uh, uh, Afghanistan is not the only country in the world that has a corruption. But like I said, uh, there were many other reasons also uh, why the uh, country fell apart so quickly. But I think uh, the president was taking uh, serious action against the corruptions. The international community knows, the donors' countries knows about this one. He was trying every single step uh, to curb corruption, to be responsible to international community for its uh, funds and donations. 
So that was not the only reason for the country uh, to fall apart. But I think, like I said, there were many other reasons. And the last uh, week uh, uh, before the president uh, uh, left the palace, uh, there was supposed to be a negotiation. And the president asked for international and regional uh, countries guarantees to make sure the system would not uh, 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 disintegrate and the financial system will be going smoothly. But unfortunately, that did not happen. And yeah. uh, and quickly enter the Kabul uh, without warning and uh, without uh, the guarantees that they had given to the people yep. that they will not. Really briefly, a final question, which is that Ashraf Ghani, of course, didn't take part in those uh, negotiations that were going on with the uh, Americans. Do you think, in terms of when history looks at it, uh, that he will be have proved right and the Americans proved wrong? Well, the time will tell. I think you'll pretty soon you will see after two weeks or three weeks, the president will have another uh, uh, detailed explanation of what exactly happened and who was right, uh, who was wrong. But I think the president was from the very beginning, he was ready for political settlement. He released more than uh, 5,500 uh, 5, uh, prisoners of Taliban. He sent uh, many delegations to Doha, but there was not even a 1% improvement from the other side. So, uh, as they, thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, from San Francisco uh, so quickly after we heard that statement from uh, Ashraf Ghani. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Matthew.